Hello and welcome to this travel vlog. Me and my boyfriend are on a two-week trip visiting different destinations in the Balkans and our first stop is Dubrovnik in Croatia and I am now inviting you to join us exploring this beautiful place. I don't like it. Good morning. Today we are heading to Dubrovnik. Hello everyone, my name is Janika. Today we are in the beautiful city of Dubrovnik and this is the start of our two week long trip traveling around some Balkan countries. Our plan is to spend now three nights here in Dubrovnik and if you're wondering why I'm currently sitting on some random stair steps, that's because our check-in to our apartment is in like half an hour. We're kind of just now waiting for the check-in. I'll soon show you guys what the apartment looks like. I'm also very curious myself. I don't really remember much from the photos or anything what it's like. But yeah, we arrived here early in the morning and we're a bit tired now as we had to wake up at 3.55. I didn't fall asleep until like 1.30, so I've only slept a few hours. You're so pretty. Look at its eyes. So we've just checked into our little apartment and it looks really nice. We have air conditioning, <laughs> that's important. And here is our little bathroom. There's some nice closet space, a little TV, and then we also have a little kitchen. Oh, oh, it's surprisingly big. Here we have a little dining area. Then we have the smallest couch. <laughs> I've seen. Here's our balcony and here is our view. How beautiful is this? Wow. Okay, so our plan now is to walk around the little peninsula area that is close by our apartment as there's supposed to be a lot of nice beaches and walking routes and stuff like that. We're just about entering that area and it looks so so beautiful. Uh, I think I'm in love with Dubrovnik already. We found a nice looking beach, so decided that, yeah, why not go for a dip? Oh, I just went for my first dip during our trip and it was so, so nice. And it was just the perfect temperature. It was so nice and so calming. And it's actually not, like there's people on this beach, but it's not like crazy busy. The views of the mountains and everything are really, really beautiful. So feeling like I am truly on vacation right now, I must say that. just went to a shop and found some uh, drinks to drink and now we're sitting here by the beach with our feet dangling by the water we've been walking quite a bit now so a nice refreshing drink will be hitting the spot right now I think we have finally arrived back to the apartment we were supposed to take it easy today but we ended up walking like almost 15 kilometers <laughs> So we are so tired right now and I burnt myself a bit in the face because we had only hand luggage so we couldn't really bring sunscreen and our plan was to buy sunscreen here as like the first thing and also like groceries and stuff because we have a kitchen but today is a public holiday so apparently there's some kind of new law that has been passed here in Croatia and all supermarkets and even like small mini markets have to be closed on public holidays. I am really tired now and these jean shorts that I have have been hurting so much when I 
I was walking and honestly I'm gonna chuck these in the garbage it was really awful and painful to walk in these so I'm definitely not gonna be wearing these again during this trip I'm gonna take a shower relax but yeah I probably won't talk to the camera at least anymore today so see you tomorrow morning we've had a bit of a slow morning not that it's super late or anything it's like uh, 9 39 a.m to be exact today our plan is to head into the dubrovnik old town or should i say king's landing apparently there's a bus that we can take to the old town yeah i must say the location of our apartment is pretty perfect because we're quite close to a bunch of restaurants and stuff we are right by the marine port so from here you can take a boat to different islands we are also right by the main bus station yesterday we walked uh, in the peninsula area that's close by and that place has all the nice beaches and it's not crowded at all i have no complaints if you are ever visiting dubrovnik i definitely recommend this apartment that we're staying in let's head towards the old town now if you guys can recognize this view, this is one of the famous Game of Thrones filming locations. To be exact, it was season 3, episode 1, and this is where Littlefinger arrives and talks to Sansa and offers her way out of King's Landing. So, that was here. Dubrovnik Old Town was very beautiful, but also more crowded and expensive than the area where we had our apartment. Even if so, it was such a joy to just walk around the charming streets and explore the area. famous Game of Thrones scene. These are the famous stairs from where Queen Cersei walks down naked and then everyone's screaming shame, shame. suddenly raining very much but luckily we are under a little tunnel thing so let's hope the rain passes by and we get to continue exploring the old town but so far it's been very nice actually and yeah we're here with a bunch of other people we gave up on waiting and decided to start walking even if it was still raining because we waited for probably 40 minutes and it didn't seem to calm down so we decided to go and try and find some place where to eat but of course all the restaurants are full right now because everyone you know seeking refugee from the rain but luckily we found a place we're now covered from the rain so it's a bit nicer to wait for the rain to calm down whilst having some food the restaurant was okay but a bit of a touristic spot and i almost fainted when i saw the prices of the drinks they were asking six euros for a soda relaxing at our apartment for a little while we are gonna head towards a beach that is supposed to be really beautiful it should be about half an hour of a walk feeling like a dip in the sea 
would feel amazing right now. are on our way to this island called Loput. This ferry goes to three different islands. We were thinking which one should we go to and I was trying to look on Google Maps which one looks the nicest and we decided to go to this Loput island as it seems to have a nice beach and stuff. I'm also hoping it's not a super busy island. I think we're actually just pulling into the first island. This one is called Kolosep. Looks quite nice. Oh, there's quite a nice uh, looking beach over there. It wasn't very expensive to take this ferry. The ferry trip to the island should take around 40 minutes. We are walking to the other side of the island because there the best beach of the island is supposed to be and yeah it's quite hot <laughs> and it's uphill but it will feel so so good to plunge in the water once we're there whoa oh my god i almost fell okay i need to stop vlogging <laughs> this is dangerous actually end up staying super long on the beach on the other side it was quite wavy there and a lot of people there wasn't much space on where to go it wasn't like packed but it wasn't super peaceful either and the way to get there wasn't yeah it was a nice little hike but on the way back uh, we decided to take the little taxi car and we decided to come back to this side from where the boat leaves because honestly this side is just pure paradise like now we found this spot you take here the steps down to the water and look at the water. It's crystal clear. There's barely no waves. There's barely any people. Like it is so peaceful. You would imagine this side where all the restaurants are and where the boat comes would be a side that's super busy, but no, for some reason it's the other side. I guess that's the famous side. But yeah, this, I don't know. Personally, I think this looks a million times better and you can just get into the water from there and if you ever visit Loput, maybe consider just staying on the side of the boat because it's so beautiful. The other side is much, much more crowded and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a dip now. Goodbye, Loput Island. You were so, so nice.
good morning today we've been having a bit of a slow morning i've been editing and i'm currently trying to upload a video it is very very slow but it's now at 89 percent <laughs> a few hours later so i'm hoping i will get it up and scheduled originally the checkout time for this apartment was supposed to be 10 a.m but the owner of this apartment was kind enough to let us stay two extra hours so we don't need to check out until 12 now we still have some places that we want to check out here close by our apartment here in Dubrovnik before we then go to the bus station. I'll catch up with you guys soon once we head to today's destination. So this is the museum we've decided to check out now. It is about the communist times in Croatia during the time it was a part of Yugoslavia. Let's go and check it out. Attention, attention everyone, subscribe to Yannicka's journey, cringe. <laughs> like mint and toffee together really weird I don't like it now gonna take a bus and head to our next destination which is Mostar in Bosnia Herzegovina. I have never been to Bosnia Herzegovina before so this will be a new country point for me so I'm very excited. We have about a three and a half hour bus journey ahead of us so I'm hoping it'll be comfortable. I'm gonna end this travel vlog here and start the next one. If you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!